This morning I woke up and I went before the Lord in prayer. And he spoke to me and he said these words, assess yourself with trembling. So I did. I got on my face. I prayed. I struggled for a time. Then I got correction. And then everything was quiet. And then he spoke to me again. And he said, now warn them to assess themselves with trembling. So I'm making this video today to warn you that if you believe that you're right with God for any other reason than that he has told you today by his Holy Spirit that he has put inside of you, that he's told you that you're, sati that you're satisfying to him, that you're pleasing to him, then you might be making a very fatal assumption. And if you've heard nothing, and you assume that silence means that God's satisfied, that he has nothing to say, you're making a fatal assumption. We need to seek the Lord and ask him whether he is pleased with us today, yesterday's testimony will not make it. Not today. You need to hear today whether he's satisfied with you. Because if you really love him, you're going to cultivate that relationship with him. You're going to walk closely with him. You're going to commune with him. And you're going to make sure that today you are walking on the straight and narrow. Knowing your Bible verses and committing them to memory is no good here because Bible verses can only impart so much, study can only impart so much without the revelation of God in your heart. One of the reasons that the Lord has given us the Holy Spirit is because the Holy Spirit delivers to us the words of Jesus, who's speaking from heaven. He delivers these words into our heart, and it communicates to us the will and the heart of God in our spirits, so that we're connected with God. But if we go on ignoring the Holy Spirit, and studying to show ourselves approved, being puffed up and bloated by knowledge, we're in darkness, we see nothing. So assess yourself before the Lord with trembling. Go before him and let him search your heart with a spotlight. Let him expose to you your ways and what's inside of your heart, things you don't know. And let him confirm to you by his voice, by his spirit that he put to live inside of you let him confirm to you whether he's satisfied with you every day, every day. And then examine yourself according to what he spoke to you, whether he spoke to you in your spirit or whether he gave you a scripture, whatever way he chooses to do it. But don't despise the counsel of the Lord. Don't. Uh, don't block your ears from the voice of the Holy Spirit. Don't shut out your heart. Let him speak to you and tell you what he thinks of you. Please pray with me. Father, please, please, whoever's viewing this video today, have mercy in your graciousness and your loving kindness. And please speak to this person. 
please speak to this person and tell them where they stand with you and let them not be afraid of your response. But Father, please, if they've heard it before and if they've hardened their hearts in the past to your correction, to your counsel, please, Father, please, for the sake of the soul whom you love, speak to them one more time and let them heed what you say. Let them go on their face and seek you with fear and trembling and take a fright of you and revere you and go before you and hear what you have to say. Father, please, scatter more seed abroad into people's hearts. Speak to people one more time. Even if after many rebukes, please, Father, don't destroy them without remedy yet. Speak once more. Let them listen to you. That they may know where they stand with you. Not according to the framework of their carnal mind, not according to their fleshly study, but according to what you tell them. Let them listen to your, your spirit. Let them not reject your spirit or despise your spirit. Speak to them, Father, please, in your loving kindness and your grace. Speak to the soul and tell them where they stand with you, whether you're satisfied with them. Please, Father, please, please, whoever's listening to this, please, Father, I pray Father, that you would speak to them. You would speak to them in such a way that they can't deny that the Lord has spoken. Father, please, for the sake of saving even just one soul, speak to the people who listen to this, who watch this. Speak to them one more time. Please, please. Please, Father. I pray in Jesus Christ's mighty name, Father, that they don't reject your word, this word, and just incur more wrath. Father, please, I pray that this time, this time that you speak to them would cause them to yield and to assess themselves with trembling and really humble themselves. Seek your face, listen to you, and start obeying you. Stop transgressing against you and grieving your Holy Spirit. Father, please, let your word bring forth life. Scatter more seed. Your word is life. Let it take root in the name of Jesus to this person watching. May your conviction, Father, break off the crust of this heart for the sake of your love and your grace. In Jesus' name, amen.